RugbyMag.com, the official voice of rugby. This is Alex Goff with highlights of round 12 of the Pacific Rugby Premiership. A new perspective from one end of the field today. League leaders Glendale in stripes visiting Ombak. In blue, a bit of a defensive battle in this game. Glendale missed that early opportunity and have another one when Justin Paga bulls over one player out on the wing. He looks away for the try, but the pass to him is deemed forward, or there's a knock-on, and that comes back. Back come the Raptors, though. That's fly half Mike Graham, who takes a bit too long to decide what to do, loses his footing, but it works out as Doug Graves secures the ball. Nice job from the lock. Ball recycled out to Paga. He really only knows one direction to go. Takes on three players to get Glendale going forward again. Then back to the forwards. Body position, a big thing this week. You see Glendale players going in very high with the ball and once again going in very high. Had he gone in low, might have been a try, but instead Patrick Mallon knows what to do with that, gets in the way. Still, Glendale has the ball, recycles, digs it out, and it's all too much for Ombak to hold off as Graves brushes off Michael Weiss and stretches over for the first try of the game. Glendale back in the Ombak 22 and Ombak holding on. Eventually, Graham looks to kick ahead for Britt Willis. Ryan O'Connor does well to prevent a try. Ombak now on the attack and they're using the forwards. Given the option, wouldn't you pass to tie Tui Samoa? Seems like a smart move. To me, anyway, goes right close to the line. Not quite there, though. Good defense from Glendale. And as simple as that, though, Mallon will pick it up and score. Why? Low body position. Zach Pangelinen hits the conversion kick, and Ombak leads 7-5. to five. That lead would hold up into the second half. Now, once again, Glendale trying to get those final few meters through the Ombak defense. And they decide finally that hands out might be the best option, and so it is. Willis on the receiving end, and happy to score a fairly straightforward try for him. And then Dustin Croy breaks through, and just like that, it's 19-7. to Glendale in the lead. Ombak needs a try, and they get one in part because the Raptors seem hell-bent on giving it to them. Horrific ball out of the scrum, and it's hacked on. Paga manages to get the ball back and does very well to get go forward, but then he loses the ball. Back come Ombak. Paga ends up knocking it into touch. So it's a line out to Ombak. And they'll take the throw, but they will lose the ball here, and it'll be fumbled around again. But then an alert Ethan Willis blocks the kick, and Eric Broussard is there to grab it and score a wild try. So it's 1914 and it stands with Raptors in the lead and they want to win and clinch a spot in the championship game. They will in fact scoring a late try from Preston Bryant. We can't see that here, but it's all good enough. Glendale 24, on back 14. <laughs> 